Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vape and today we're reviewing the MD by Elvip. It's an MTL RTA, mouth to lung rebuildable tank optimizer. Boom! I'm not doing the usual uh, specs, features, review stuff because there's not that much specs to talk about. We're just going to talk about the device. We're going to t tell you how amazing it is because it is pretty darn amazing. And then we're going to do some re-wicking. I've done three re-wickings at the end. And I have to apologise. They're not the best re-wickings I've ever done. Um, that's just because I've been trying out with my new microphone. And I've been trying out with a new desk set and background, I mean, and everything like that. So, the re is not the best. But what I will tell you is I've re-wicked it loads of times. And every time I thought it was awesome. The only awesome thing I didn't like was the original coils that came in. I've only used one, and I weren't a fan of that for my own coils, but I think that's pretty standard for the coils that come with it. So let's crack on, back to last week, and look at my unboxing. MDRTA by Hellvape, mouth to lung RTA. So open it, I'm quite looking forward to cracking on. Although I've used mouth to lung devices before, I've never actually played with one, so it'll be fun. Reach over for my knife. Kind of uh, destroying my shop today. Everything's just going completely wrong with me. Although the box is not very bright, I quite like it. I don't know if it's textured or if it's because I've got liquid on my hands. Now that looks good. It's pretty damn good. Crack it open. Straight into the RTA. Quite typical. Yeah. Let's have a look at the deck. Have a look at the deck. Oh. Now that could be alright. That could be alright. It's interesting. I'm quite I really am looking forward to this. Bang it back on. Let's have a look at the fill hole. No, maybe not. No, we're not looking at the fill just yet, because it's uh, jammed on, I don't want to waste the video. But it's got quite a decent sized fill I don't know if you can see it there. Happy days. Bang that back in. Have a little bit of a box. We've only looked with a set of some coils. Quite a big box. I got a sticker. Nah, 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 nah. So, we've got the screwdriver. We've got plenty of O's and a spare drip tip. Interestingly, there, that looks like a spare or a change of airflow internal. You see that? Can you see it? No. I mean, you get the gist. Uh, but there is a coil in there as well, two coils. Happy days. There's my sticker. There's the user manual. Get on with it. So I did figure out how to uh, take the top off. It's got two ridges. So you've got the actual top bit. You've got the bit that goes in. And then you've got a little notch. Uh, a bit like the Inikin slide. So you lift it out a little bit. It didn't have to be full. Don't know how well you can see. But it's just a little notch. And that allows you to take the top off. It's got a nice decent sized fill hole. It is pretty good. The main massive thing for this is the airflow. And we'll get into that a little bit in a minute. The airflow is very precise. It's got two different types of adjustable airflow. We'll crack on. First, I should probably tell you, it's got a 24 mil diameter. It's got a capacity of 2 mil, but you can also get a bubble glass pushing it up to 4 mil. Um, the drip tip is 510, and the thread is 510. Making it happy days, pretty standard. There we go. So I say it's got variable airflow. And hopefully my camera will focus on this. If you see here, we've got 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil, 4 mil, 5 mil, 6 mil. Very specific airflow, designed for exactly how you want it. It does do quite well at my direct lung. But it's not designed for that, it is an MTL device. So this is currently reading at 0.63. Now 
nice direct lung. But then it can also handle the take down in wattage. Turn the airflow right down. As you can see, it can do pretty decent mouth tongue as well, which is good because that's what it's designed for. But you think, well, that's only one way of airflow, are they? You want to see my insides? Now, if that'll focus, you'll see you've actually got two sets of airflow here. Now, when you take out that ring, or turntable as hell they call it, you'll see you've only got one airflow. Which means you can either have the big one or the three little ones. Only to take it out, by the way, I just use a screwdriver to turn it anti clockwise. Put it back in, you turn it clockwise. There is a spare one of this you saw in the unboxing that's got bigger holes. These holes are as just precise as the other ones. Uh, I'll put it on the screen. So we've got turntable A and turntable B. Happy with that? All good. Now, I'm not going to lie, I do find it a little bit awkward trying to get the um, bottom burst back in. If it's dry, it's probably better. And try and just do it with your finger rather than with a screwdriver because it makes it a bit harder. But you can just like press it in and twist it kind of thing. So then if you then need to fiddle about with it a bit more, do it with your screwdriver. But you see, this is why I've only done a review like this because I'm not quite sure what more to say. It, it's great. On a, on a review... There's much more to say for things you do like, things you don't like. There's nothing I don't like about this RTA. Don't get me wrong, I do prefer my bigger clouds. Like, say, my uh, Bacalian is probably one of my favourite RTAs. Uh, but this is great. I managed to kick out great flavour. Like, I say quite often, the rebuildables, but... Ah, that's because you didn't build it this way. No, no, that's not a rebuildable. What's the entire point? I don't like mesh because you have to do that. I don't like certain RTAs and RDAs because you have to build it in a certain way. With the Hellvip MD, it's not like that. You literally just build it and go, pretty much. And I haven't really recommended a coil build in the next section. I've just come there you go. Three ways I've done it. Obviously, you'll want lower ohms. Uh, I'll write about that in the description. And I could get lower, like kind of what came for and how many wraps and yada yada. Um, but I, I just, and the reason I haven't recommended, and I, and I know some of you want, will want me to recommend, and I'm not going to, because I want you to try it. No matter what build I've put in that, it's tasted good. Obviously, some better than others, but none of them have been bad. So just go for it, guys. And if you would, oh my god, I might destroy it. You're not going to destroy it. There's no way you can destroy it. As long as you're not using a, a mech mod, as long as you're using a fully regulated mod, you'll be fine. The worst that'll happen is it just won't fire. If you've got any problems, drop me a comment down below and I'll answer it as quick as I can. But other than that, just have fun, guys. Build on it, be creative, do your thing. Usually on these sort of stuff, I prefer the Kenful wraps. I think on this, I did prefer the uh, small fuse wires, fuse captains. But you know, like I said, you're, you're not me. Do what you want, you try it, let me know. For, to help the community, if you have got a good way of building it, your favourite way of building it, let us know down below. Okay, VMW UK, you got it. You won the Vandy Vape. Congratulations. Sorry. Um, so, congratulations, you won the Vandy Vape Berserker. Uh, drop me a message on Instagram, Facebook, or whatnot to discuss postage. Um, and for you other lucky viewers, all you have to do is comment down below and subscribe. And next week I will pick one of you commenters and subscribers out as a chance of winning the Hellvape MD. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, and for the rest of you that don't want to win it, I still wish you to comment down below and tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about this in review. Feedback is always appreciated. But please do subscribe. Please. Trying to get a thousand before end of this month. It would be so cool if you all subscribed, if not already. And share it. Come on, just, yeah, that's it. In fact, do share it. Share it. Help me get 1,000. Ask your friends to subscribe to the best subscriber on YouTube. 
Um, anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, uh, ring the bell, all that malarkey, thumbs up, and most of all, do not forget to ever, 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 do not forget, ever, to stay cloudy! Alright guys, so let's crack on with a wicking tutorial. I've already took the top cap off, so now we've just got the bed. We want to make sure the screws are nicely undone, so we can fit his coils in. Can you see it? Does it look good? Right. Oh, where are we going? My head's all over the place today. What's cracking off? Bang that through here. This is, in case you're wondering, this is a 20 gauge jig. 20 diameter, sorry. Just get a few wraps. I can't remember how many wraps I've put on. Didn't count. Ridiculous. Bang it in. Now you want this to be between the two air holes. About there ish. Hold your coil in place and screw it down. The good thing about this RTA is the screws are really nice if you don't get jammed or anything. Put it in line. That's pretty beautiful. Get a snip. And get rid of that wire as well. Put it onto our trusty mod. Make sure it's nice and straight. And it right eye. See, that's looking pretty alright. To me, now I need my pliers. Get them out of my bag. So let's do a reading. Reading 0.139. Make sure I'm spinning a little bit. Alright, so I'll turn it down a bit. There you got some nice little glow going on. It looks pretty perfect too. <laughs> Wait for it to cool down. Now we must remember that we're only using. 2 mil, so the car needs to be quite thin. Get a squeeze. Come on, twist your way through. And if you do pull, just remember to always hold your coil to make sure you don't pull your coil out of line. Lift the other side up. Just a little bit. And gently pull it back through a little bit. Get a bit of play to make sure it's nice and found its space. You want to cut it just about where the O ring is, if not a little bit higher. And the same on the other side. Get a little bit of fluffing and playing. The entire purpose of this, guys, if no review has ever told you, is just to make sure it's not too thick for the uh, liquid to soak back through. Now, to push the cotton down to the wicking hole, I'm just going to use my screwdriver. Get down there. There you go, nice and neat. I always like to play for the wicking hole to make sure it's nice and spread. But remember, guys, the wicking part is really important when using RTAs because if it's too dense in here, then you not going to get any liquid coming out of your coil if it's too thin or your liquid is going to soak straight through and out and leak so you want it nice and dense but not too dense but if you're not quite sure i always find it best to do it too dense because then you can always pull it back out thin it out a little bit more now we want as liquid and as liquid we're going to use vampire vape blackjack Make sure your cards are nice and saturated. Cotton, sorry. Put a bit through the wicking holes as well. Get a quick fire. Wet, fire, wet, fire, wet. Now, I don't want to do too much wetting or it'll go straight down and come out of your air hole. Put the top cap back on. Screw it on. I just put a lot of liquid so mine's a bit wet. And it's beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. That's some fine ass vapor. Up it is. I don't think that's my favorite uh, build out of what I've done. Uh, but next we're going to move over to the Fuse Claptons. And we'll see how we get on. Alright, so now I've got some Fuse Clapton. Take a little look. At this point, you probably want about 7 centimeters. Snip it. And if you are using it off a spool, it's important to keep hold of the end. Because if not, it will unra unravel. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is take out this card that we just built. As nice as it was. Get it gone. The exact same process, we're using 2 mil again. Bang it on, get some twisting. That's four. There you go. So if you have a look, we've got six on the top, five on the bottom. So it's actually classed as five wraps. Exact same process. Make sure your holes are fully open or as open as they need to be. Bang your coil in. Give it a pull. Be careful not to warp your coil. You want it yet again, pretty much center of the two holes. Screw the top on. Clamp it down. Use your jig to realign. The reason you use your jig is because it's the same size as the coil diameter. So you won't get it skewing as much or being thicker in the middle, whatever. Uh, now we've clamped it, we can cut it. Get a quick cut, god damn it. Do it. And that's reading it 0.29. Fire, fire, fire. feels a little bit loose so what I'm going to do is get a screwdriver and just double check it's fully clamped down there you go it's all pretty yet again we're going to let it cool down and then we're gonna go again put some cotton in it and have fun all right so same goes nice thin mix nice and thin mix 0.2 uh, 2 mil sorry 20 mil whatever let's just get on with it it says let's get on with it you can't get it in Push it, push it, push it. It's a bit too thick. I'm just going to run a bit off. Because it's a bit top end ever. And try again. Yeah, again, don't forget to hold your coil. And get a tug. Flip it up. Flip the other side up. Pull, 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 pull. You don't remember when you're doing that, you don't want to distort your coils. Get a clamp about the o ring. Get a clip on this side, just blow the o ring. I know I said clamp a minute ago, my apologies. Get a little fluffing. 
And yet again, just push it down your holes. Maybe that shroud cotton's nice and saturated. Burn. Fire. Burn. Fire. Burn. Fire. It's smelling good. Now you might have realised that my coils weren't perfectly centred then. It is always a good idea to have your coils as centre as possible. Um, it'll still work properly, but you don't want to sacrifice your taste. And there you go. That is my preferred wicking. Of it, I've done several types. No, 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 no. But the only thing I haven't done is three mil diameter. Uh, we're going to do that now. All right. So once again, we want about nine, ten centimeter, uh, seven, eight, nine centimeters. Give it a cut. Now, as you might see, I broke the jig to my. Don't even ask. Um, so instead of using the full jig kit I'm just gonna wrap it but if you can use the jig do because it does make it easier especially when you've got oily fingers like I have covered in e-liquid let's give it a pull pull it in a bit I'll probably manage to get another one wrap out of that And cut that off, otherwise it'd be hard to get through. Bang it through the holes. Make sure it's pretty much center of that circular airflow disc. As I keep saying. Ramp it down. And because I've uh, distorted, I'm just going to hold, hold it sideways while I do that. A boom. And that's looking pretty good to me. Let's see what we read at. Yeah. 0.4. Give it a fire in. Now this might take a bit more squeezing because uh, the coil will be distorted. There you go, perfect. Oh happy days, no oh, happy days. Let us cool down and then we'll get back on to the, the wicking. Now it's nice and cool, I'm going to bang my wicking. I'm using a lace because I'm lazy. Beautiful. Cut it out of the o-ring. Cut it at the O-ring. So I don't know why I keep singing. And push it. Just bear in mind that now that you're using more cotton because you've got a bigger diameter, you might need to thin it out a bit more. But it does feel like it's nice and nicely in there. But just for example, I'll show you how I usually thin it out. So to thin it out, I usually just use these. And just pull out. Just keep doing it. And as you can see, you get a bit of a build up of cotton. And that's generally what I look for. And it goes. If you need to do a bit more, pull them closer. And use both. Other people use scissors and whatnot. I don't like to trim or prune. I just like to scrape out the excess. Boom. 
looks good to me. Let's give it a try. One sec. And as you can see, that's much more vapor production, which we expect it to be. But I'm using it at 40 watts. We we'll take it down to about 20 ish. It's an hour and a half to the drag. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay cloudy!